Hey guys, this is Gaurav. Welcome to SAS with ServiceNow. In this video, we will talk about certification program change of ServiceNow. Certification program change. ServiceNow has recently changed the certification program. This was implemented to make sure that all ServiceNow professionals are up to date with latest changes as, as part of version upgrade. As you know, ServiceNow comes up with two versions every year. So they decided that their all ServiceNow professionals should be updated with the latest changes, with the latest functionalities which they have implemented. So now they have changed the complete ServiceNow uh, certification program. Recent changes which ServiceNow have done. Expiry of partner accreditations. Second change, no direct purchase of certification exam. And the third change is introduction of Delta exam. So let's take a closer look. Expiry of partner accreditations. Initially, all the partner or all the professionals of partners could do, uh, could, could go for partner accreditations. That means if you are a ServiceNow professional and you are, uh, you are part of any organization who is the partner of ServiceNow, all the professionals could acquire uh, different partner accreditations. That means you are, you are getting the expertise in different modules with those accreditations if you're working for a different clients. ServiceNow has ended that. Now, any of the partner professionals don't need these partner accreditations. No direct purchase of certification exam. Initially, so on, and this change was basically done on 1st July 2018. So uh, before 1st July, people could register for examination uh, by directly going to the WebSR site of ServiceNow and they could register for the uh, exam uh, by paying directly with the help of maybe credit card and, and some other uh, payment systems. That's what they could do. But now ServiceNow has ended that. If you have to register for exam, you have to go through a training for that particular certification and then uh, they will give you a voucher, free voucher from that exam and then you have to uh, purchase the certification with the help of that voucher. So even if you, you have already registered on WebSR, WebSR and you want to purchase that, you won't be able to do that because it won't give you any payment option except that voucher code. So that's a constraint now, that's a policy, that's a total change from ServiceNow. Introduction of Delta exam. Now this is a new change. So before 1st July, uh, and I think about six or eight months ago, ServiceNow came up with a change again. So that was, I think, the second change which I can say. So from last, uh, I think, eight or ten years, there were, there were no changes around certification. But then they came up with some new changes of, that they introduced um, certified implementation specialists to, they divided that into different modules. And initially it was just one certification called certified implementation specialist. They also came up with that they were coming up with different versions. So they also decided that they are going to uh, expire the old certifications and after two years, if, if they are coming up uh, with the new versions. So that was the initial uh, change. But recently, after 1st July 2018, they came up with uh, Delta exam. Now, what is this Delta exam? So Delta exam is, as an example, if you, uh, if you are certified in um, Kingston or you're certified in Jakarta, and ServiceNow came up with a new version called London. So when they, when they are upgrading to next version and they have launched, then you have to be certified. You have to be certified within 90 days for this Delta exam. It's kind of an exam. That means whatever certification you have and they will give you a Delta exam, it's kind of a upgraded features questions maybe. And then if you are able to pass that certification, uh, then that means your your, certifi your certification will not expire. But if you are not able to uh, pass that certification within 90 days, then your old certifi uh, certification will be expired. So that's a new policy, that's a, a new system, that's a new program that's called Delta exam. Now, these are the certifications which ServiceNow have. That is Service Certified System Administrator, Certified 
application developer certified implementation specialist and that is around different modules that is IT service management service mapping financial management customer service management security vulnerability response and then software asset management so these are the certifications now service now has already announced some uh, I think few cert few more certifications um, on a specific area and I think those are around uh, discovery um, uh, discovery and some other uh, incident response and some other stuff as well so that's why that's how they have uh, come up with those uh, certifications can you pay fees for certification? So the answer is clearly no, that you cannot pay for your certification. So as I mentioned, now in order to do ServiceNow certification, any certification being a ServiceNow developer, or you are going to do ServiceNow application developer, ServiceNow certified administrator or implementation specialist, you have to do that training first, and then only you can go for certification exams. You will get the voucher, free voucher, you are going to pay. Uh, it's I know it's really costly. ServiceNow has those trainings. It's It costs around like $1,500, $2,000. You have to pay for that training. Once you are done with that training, they will give you, they will send you a few um, a free voucher for that particular uh, certification. You have to use that voucher and then you can give that uh, certification exam. What if you don't pass the exam? ServiceNow certification exam, uh, if, if, you are, if you are not able to pass, so you did your training, you gave your exam, and now you're not able to pass. So if you didn't pass your examination, ServiceNow gives you a facility that you can retake that examination, and that will you cost around $75. So, that's a, uh, so there's no change in price. Initially, it was the same. If you want to retake the exam, if you if you if you got failed, it would be seventy five dollars. Can you give exam online? The answer is absolutely yes. ServiceNow give you two kind of examinations. So one is online proctored, another one is on site proctored. So that means uh, online proctored. That means you should have a web camera and then uh, you have to uh, put that camera in with that view that that you are like sitting like a testing center and then that proctor can just watch you so that's how it works uh, if you want more details so i will be mentioning each and every detail you will find everything in description uh, i will mention everything about certifications links help links everything uh, where exactly what kind of webcam you can purchase that's that's what i have mentioned and the another one which I was talking about on-site proctored. On-site proctored that ServiceNow already have um, a criterion uh, centers and uh, you can just go on WebSSR site, register for the exam. It will ask you and they already have those options on on-site or online proctored. If you're selecting online proctor, on-site proctored, then just select the center register for it and then you are done. You will get a code uh, in your email. You just need to take that printout or maybe save the code and then you have to go to that center near near you you can select those centers as well as part of, um, as per the state you are living in and then you can just go to that center as per the mention time and give the exam and get yourself certified if you have more questions around service now certification program please put your comments i will definitely respond to you Thanks for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe for my channel.